Myanmar's military regime ended its flirtation with democracy in early 2021, it's celebrated by killing several hundred anti-coup protesters and detaining thousands more. So some activists are now thinking beyond street protests. They've joined forces with the ethnic insurgents who have been waging their own on-off war with the Burmese junta for decades. We've been behind the scenes at a secret training camp to find out more. at a secret location near Myanmar's Chinese border. We've gained access to a training camp run by ethnic insurgents. But the trainees are not hardened guerrilla fighters. They're ordinary young men and women, students, activists, some as young as 17 who've got themselves organized on social media to come and train for a war against the military junta. Now, they're being trained by the ethnic nationality Kachin Independence Organization. With an army of 8,000 and its own de facto government controlling almost half of Kachin state, the KIO has been fighting successive Burmese regimes since 1961. <laughs> ไปอินเดกินนะก็นานิโกโลกลงโลกแต่ถ้าไอ้ไงก็อ่ะบ่เพ็ดว่ามูอีไงมันรัมมานิโลรัมมานิโกเอมรีบุกาอุระโกงา
เยเซดนั้นเนี่ยเปิดดัดตัวลูกป้องมาเนี่ยกล้าบ่มาจะมาในเรศีนิจิมพี่ดอแต่ละก็ตัวล้มหลงนิงโพนี่ล้มมาเ
Observers say there could be 10,000 more in similar camps across the country. ไอ้อ่ะออกมาอเมียก็บอกเลยสอเอ่อดีว่ากูเทรนนี่ล่ะมั้ยสอแล้วตีท้าเป็นมั้ยดีแล้วอลุบอนเนาะปิ๊กแ
at the Karen village of Debuno. Even the school was a target. The students had already evacuated when it was hit. But since the air raids, over 20,000 children have been in hiding in the forest, unable to return to their lessons. ไอ้ลูกนี้เอาไว้แพ็คคิสซินนี่ต่อฮัลโหลคอนนี่นารีตะคอโคโคเป็นนี่หมอเนาะเอาไว้มีนกกว่าโฟเดอร์โพเฟ
all our differences behind and you know struggle only for their common goals and common purposes that our children deserve and our grandchildren deserve that's the future and the new Myanmar. <laughs> Uniting the mainly Burman, city-based pro-democracy movement and the ethnic insurgents may be the key to overthrowing the military junta. But for some ethnic leaders, the failure of the previous National League for Democracy government to negotiate peace undermines their statements in support of federalism now. Pudo Tadamu is the General Secretary of the Karen National Union. The previous times of the NLD government, they have shown their commitment on the federal is very rare to be seen, uh, you know, but only, you know, the verbal commitment. It's difficult to see the commitment in practice. So now, you know, we, are, we have a chance with some of the NLD leaders and seeking the, you know, common ground and work together. For the past, I think that the urban community, they don't understand the suffering of the ethnic area. They don't understand the feeling of the ethnic area. Now they come to know what has happened in their area because they were got killed, tortured, arrested. Now we have the common goal to end the military coup and to have the real democracy. Living alongside the Kachin, the Burman trainees get a new perspective on the ethnic struggle. โอ้ยาชี้จินโลอาลงอากูดีตาดอไดเวอร์วันนี้จ้ะเลยทายแม่จมารุดีอะหมาซงตีอะดาดีโซเชียลมีเดียตะเซนตีอะเลยไตเว
no overall leadership and very few weapons, they face an uncertain future. ဒီကိစ္စသားတိတော်မှာဆိုရင်အဲ့ဒီတော်တော်ကိုကြောက်လက်နာမျိုးတော့မရှိတာကိုစေဖ်လီတော်တော်ကိုတာဝင်ယူ